You tell me you're scared You tell me you're weak But I know you're stronger Than what you think Grace, if you're new here, just got ready for work. It's eight o'clock. If you're really new here, which is a possibility, I feel like I haven't done a little recap of my life recently. I work at a real estate law firm. I live in New York. I graduated law school in May 2020. And I took the bar in October online and I didn't pass. And then I took it again in February and I still don't have the results. So I feel like a lot of you are probably wondering when we get the results. We're not supposed to get them until the end of April and they don't tell you what date you're gonna get them. So I have nothing further to report other than I'm freaking out and I'm positive that I failed again. So yeah, the first time when I took it, I was kind of indifferent. I didn't, like I wasn't sure that I passed or anything, but I really didn't think I failed. But this time I'm positive that I failed. Like those essays were horrible, horrible, horrible. I feel like the MPTs were fine. The multiple choice were like, eh, but the essays were all so bad that I feel like just those alone I failed. So that's just my little update. I feel like I never even talked about the bar because right after the bar I went right back to work. So I had no time to like process it. And now that it's getting closer to results, I'm like panicking, so. Anyways, I'll show you my outfit. I have to grab my camera charger, so I'll show it to you in the bedroom. Oh, the floor is so slippery there. I don't know why. Shirt is from J. Crew. It's just like a peplum style top. Pants are H&M. Shoes are Sam Edelman Lior loafers, which are just like my favorite work shoes. And this coat is Target. So yeah. And I've been loving this little half up, or not half up, half down, but claw clip hair style because it makes me feel a little bit more put together than just like a bun. Opening by, just call the community home. Sorry, my mom called me before, but I don't know what I was saying. I have to get gas. Times like this, why am I vlogging with the radio going? Like what the hell is wrong with my brain today? Um, times like this, I really wish I had a Tesla because I feel like I'm always getting gas. All right, I have to go to work now. Toodles, I'm so tired. If it all falls, if it all breaks, I'll still be so bad hi all I just got home from work it's 6 45 
You know, my whole thought process with this vlog today was that I was going to show you what I eat during the day because I did that in a previous vlog and I think it got some good reactions. And then I don't record anything that I eat. So, I don't know what the theory of this vlog is going to be. We'll, we'll find out as we get to it, I guess. <laughs> what a day. Let's go inside. I guess the landscaping company came today and they remulched our walkway, which is so amazing. I thought that we would have to do it ourselves. And I was like, oh my God, that's going to be interesting because like I don't garden. But they did it and it looks so much better. I need to get a plant for this because that's horrifying. Just had to throw out that garbage because there was expired chicken in there and it smelled like it still smell it. It's bad. I keep thinking it's Monday, but it's not, and that's such good news. Oh my god. It's like I live my life and I just look this way. Anyways, I have a closing tomorrow out of office. So I always like to look a little nicer for those. But you know, I'm really like not loving my wardrobe right now. I wear the exact same thing almost every day and I'm getting a little tired of it. Like, I guess I could wear this skirt. I'm not entirely sure how tight it's going to be because I haven't worn it in a hot sec. My biggest tip if you work an office job and you're like not a morning person or you are a morning person but you just like to keep your mornings very simple is to always pick out your outfit the night before. And I mean like pick out the whole outfit, like top undergarments, just like the whole thing so that in the morning you don't have to think about it at all. And that always saves me so much time in the morning because I feel like in the morning I cannot think about what I want to wear. It like never works. I'm like, what do I want to wear? What do I want to wear? What fits? What do I like? What's in season? Now, at night, I can just sew together very quickly and then I don't have to worry about it. towards the end of the day like we have one of those water cooler things and me being the extremely socially awkward shy person that I am I didn't ask anyone to refill it I was just like fine I will die for the rest of the afternoon and have no water because I'm the only one in that office who drinks like a gallon of water a day so I need to like chug three things of water because I feel like I'm gonna die but anyways I did want to show you what I ate during the day but um, I didn't vlog, but I will still show you because most of the stuff I've showed you before in vlogs anyways, and we're gonna order dinner. So I'll just show you how I like order out healthier. So for my first meal of the day, I don't even like call it breakfast because it can be at any time. It just depends on what I'm doing that day. Sometimes it's in the car. Sometimes it's right when I get to work, you know, whatever. I always have one of these, um, hazelnut oat protein shakes they just have 20 grams of protein not a lot of carbs and they keep me really full and today's video is actually sponsored by premier protein so be right back brief intermission to talk about the sponsor of today's video which is premier protein and i'm going to be talking about their new chocolate hazelnut premier protein shake with oats so i've been drinking these for the past like two weeks or so and you guys know i've been on a little bit of a health and fitness journey if you guys watched me for a while, you know, about this time last year, I started working out a lot and I worked out like four or five times a week. I wasn't eating like crazy healthy, but I was eating pretty well. And like I toned up 
really nicely. But then once we moved in October and I started a new job, I really let my diet and workout really slip to the back burner completely. And just like everyone else, New Year's, my resolution was to get in shape and just like kind of lose some of the quarantine 15, so to say, because I, you know, I packed on a few since October or so. So one of the things that's really important for me is my diet because I don't really work out a lot, though I did get the Peloton. So I am planning on working out, you know, four or five times a week, which is really great, regardless of whether you're trying to lose weight or not. Working out is obviously just really good for your body, but eating healthy and eating the right things is also really important. And at work, I just don't have the time to sit down and have meals just like throughout the day. I just don't have the time. I get to work and I work all the way until I leave. I don't take a break. I don't have time to make meals or eat them really. So having something like a protein shake is really good because I can just sit at my desk and drink it or drink it on the go if I'm going to a closing, something like that. And I don't have to like have a fork and a knife and really like prepare this whole meal. I'm not like a very diverse eater. It's hard for me to get protein. So having something like a protein shake, especially in the morning, helps me get some protein in before even having like lunch. So Premier Protein came out with their chocolate hazelnut oat shake and I'm obsessed with it. I'm going nuts over it, so to speak. Hazelnuts going nuts. Their shakes are really helping me stay in line with my diet and get it together because they make getting your macronutrients in so easy. Their chocolate hazelnut shake with oats is nut allergen free and it also has 20 grams of protein, seven grams of fiber, only one gram of sugar, which to me is really important. I don't wanna be drinking a protein shake that's like riddled with carbs and sugar and 24 vitamins and nutrients. What I struggle with is planning out meals and eating things without just going crazy and eating something like really unhealthy or junk foodie. This makes it so simple. I don't have to think about it. I keep a few shakes stored in my fridge at work. I bring a few at the beginning of the week so I don't have to take them back and forth with me every day. And I usually have one around 10 o'clock or so and they hold me over for lunch and then I have lunch around one or two and then I'm good for dinner. If I don't have a protein shake or something in the morning, I'll usually eat lunch around 12 and then be starving by like four and I don't leave work until six. They taste really good. If you guys watched me, you know, probably like last year or so, I used to drink the regular Premier Protein drinks. Those are really amazing too. But what I like about these is that they have oats in them. It's a little bit more filling in my opinion, but all Premier Protein products are really, really delicious and they taste good. They don't taste like chalk. I feel like a lot of protein drinks just have that chalky flavor and texture. And to me, that's like horrifying. This does not have that flavor at all. You can trust me because I'm such a picky eater. The best thing about these chocolate hazelnut oat shakes is that they're easy to drink, they're easy to get. You don't have to think about what you're gonna have for breakfast or lunch or whatever that day. And you can just have a healthy meal without having to prepare something crazy. Like I just know I don't have the time for that. And if I have to prepare a meal, like I simply won't do it. So the fact that I don't have to is amazing. So if you guys want to try out the Premier Protein Chocolate Hazelnut with Oats Shake, just make sure you check out the link down below. And thank you to Premier Protein for sponsoring. Okay, we're back. So after I have that, I usually have lunch. Then lunch, what I've been doing recently the past few weeks is I just have a low carb lunch. It doesn't have to be a salad. Some days I'll have freshlies, just depending. These are the freshlies I have for this week. I didn't take one today just because I had a little bit of like a sensitive stomach this morning. I was like, all this kind of freaked me out. But these are my favorite buffalo chicken and protein uh, packed chicken parm are so, so good. This is a new one. Honestly, I don't really love it. Like I wouldn't recommend it, but when you're just looking for like a hot meal, that's a good one, I guess. But I do like these two the best. They're high protein, they taste really good, and they're lower carb. Then for like an afternoon snack, cause if I have lunch around 12 or one, I'm usually pretty hungry by like four. I'll have a Belvita. These are so filling. I used to eat these for breakfast, but honestly I eat them at any point in the day and I'll usually want something sweet in the afternoon. So instead of having like candy, not that I ever would just have candy in the middle of the day, but you know, something just really useless. I'll have one of these, or if I want something 
like salty, I'll have these schoolyard snacks. I keep so many of these at the office. So I have these and the sour cream and onion ones. I just keep a whole bunch of food at the office so that I don't have to bring stuff with me every day. So I keep a few of these in my desk, my schoolyard snacks. I keep a few shakes in the fridge and stuff like that. But for lunch today, I've ordered this salad before, like a few times that I've showed you. I just order from this local like health food store and I got a chopped romaine salad with cucumbers, carrots, walnuts, grilled chicken, avocado, and feta cheese. So it's really, really, really filling. And for dressing, I just get balsamic vinegar. I don't have like dressing dressing. Again, because I'm just trying to like stay lower on the carbs. So that's what I had today. And then dinner, I usually will just kind of have whatever I want within reason. Um, I don't like, I really don't restrict myself for dinner. I just try to eat a reasonable portion of it. And I find that if I have a snack later in the day, like a Belvita or schoolyard snack or whatever I have on me, I won't binge out at dinner. And that used to be my problem. I would like eat nothing all day and eat like 5,000 calories at dinner. I do have to charge this camera, but I'm just going to have a seltzer. That's another thing I've been doing is I don't really drink alcohol Sunday through like Thursday. Or if I do drink like a random day during the week, I just won't drink, you know, Friday or Saturday. I try to just limit my, my alcohol intake to two to three days a week because I just, first of all, it's empty calories. And I noticed like I was so puffy and it was hard for me to lose weight because of that. But also I just like feel like shit in the morning, regardless if I have one drink or like three. So I'm just going to have a little LaCroix. These key lime ones are pretty good. Wow, well, you got a haircut. Jesse got a haircut. I feel naked. You look so much better. Five months, right? That five was months? five months. It was like November 28th. That was the last time you got your hair cut was our wedding? Yeah. Oh my God. That's yeah. terrible. I'll never do that again. It was long. The barber was like, what the fuck? Do you think he died? <laughs> no, he knows. Because I usually go like three months without a haircut anyway. Mm -hmm. This is just a, a record. You don't need anyone to I'll make you want to run Just be wild and free Do I really make you feel Like you don't need anyone else Like you don't need anyone else Because all I need is you sushi for dinner which I have to protect from peach because she goes crazy but I just got an avocado roll and the spicy tuna roll and I definitely remember these as being larger and I got some yoza I think this is vegetable yoza and Jesse got sashimi which I think is so vile but he also got this salad and I might eat this because this is like not a lot so that would be my dinner I'll let you know how much of it I actually eat but I'm so hungry, so hopefully this fills me up because I'm like legit gonna eat everything. But yeah, that's what Jesse got some sashimi, and he got brown rice. They just sent us extra white rice, so we'll probably save that for leftovers. And Peach is like really excited. Peach loves sushi. Okay, we just ate. It's 8:30. I'm in bed. I'm editing a video, so I just wanted to update you because I have to use my memory card to import the footage. I am going to start editing, so I need to use this camera, so be right back. Okay, I just got the shower. I'm going to do my skincare. I feel like we have the best chats when I'm doing my skincare. I didn't work out today, if that wasn't already obvious. I just had to edit that video and honestly, I'm just too exhausted. But this is only gonna be a one day vlog because I feel like when I include longer clips of me talking, I don't really like to make it a few days because then I feel like no one's gonna listen because the video is like 40 minutes long and then they just click off. 
But I got, first of all, it's so funny. I get questions about my Nespresso all the time in my DMs and in comments, whether I still use it or like what happened to it. Basically when we moved, we just, we make a lot of coffee and it just wasn't really worth it anymore to use the Nespresso because Jesse has like three coffees a day at least and I have like two so that's five pods a day that's like five dollars every single day so it's just more sense or it makes more sense economically for us to use like a regular coffee maker so I got one with the credit I had to Zola for my bridal shower so that's what happened with the Nespresso it's not like we don't like it or anything we still like it I still have it actually and I'm gonna set it up in the kitchen because I always see these TikToks of people making lattes and iced coffee with the Nespresso and it makes me miss it. So I think I am going to set it up in the kitchen again just for like, you know, here and there. The other thing I want to talk about was someone commented on one of my more recent videos about anxiety and like how do I just, I don't know, for whoever the commenter was must think I don't have anxiety because I don't think they're just like how do you get by like whatever I definitely have anxiety I've talked about it in videos before like I'll just be laying there like panicking about nothing um sometimes it's worse than others I feel like when I'm PMSing or when I have my period it's a lot worse but I do have generalized anxiety disorder I mean that's been like diagnosed by multiple doctors so I'm not just making it up or like saying I have anxiety like no I really do sometimes it's a lot worse than others it just depends you know the thing with anxiety is you'll be worrying about something but you don't even know what you're worrying about you're just like panicking but like about what you don't know and that's the worst part I think is just like when you're laying there like oh my god what the hell's wrong with me but you don't know so I don't really have a good coping mechanism honestly um I would say Definitely working out in general just like reduces my anxiety, but if I'm already having anxiety, like I'm on the verge of a panic attack, exercise definitely makes it worse. <laughs> if I'm consistently working out, I do notice my anxiety is a little bit better. For me, like having a comforting place to go and be is helpful. And for me, that's always been my bed. It doesn't matter like where we lived. It's always my bed. That's like my comfort zone. Let's just leave the bathroom because I'm like fogging up. Also, another thing, which for me, like this is something that gives me anxiety and it may not give you anxiety, so it would be inapplicable. But for me, if I am getting like a million text messages or calls or whatever, emails, you know, whatever it is, and I have anxiety that escalates it so much, just knowing like there's people I have to respond to. I'm not talking about work. Like if I'm at work, that's different. I'm talking about like if I'm at home and I'm just getting a million texts, I will put my phone on do not disturb or airplane mode or whatever because that'll make me feel better. Like nothing is really helping my hair situation right now. <laughs> but anyways, that'll make me feel a little better. And overall, just like putting myself first. If something's giving me anxiety, going to something, I'm thinking, oh my God, I really don't want to go to xyz event i really don't want to go like i'm freaking out about it i won't go i will tell the person that i'm supposed to go with like oh hey like i'm really not feeling well or you know whatever i say it's really no one's business and tell them like hey i can't go and i immediately feel better and that was one of my 2021 resolutions was to start putting myself first in situations like that because i am and used to be the biggest pushover ever if someone asked me to do something I did it it didn't matter how awful it made me feel I would do it I just never want to upset or disappoint anyone ever and that goes for like people in my real life and people on YouTube which is why I like can't stand negative comments like they really kill me because I am such a people pleaser but one of my resolutions was to stop being such a people pleaser and put myself first so if something is really like making me sick with anxiety like I just won't do it. I know that sounds self-explanatory, but for people with anxiety, it really isn't. So I have to take these vitamins one moment. And yeah, making time for myself, turning my phone off, doing things that make me happy. So whether that's just watching some TikToks or watching The Office for the 800th time or 
just like hanging out with Jesse or sorry my camera keeps dying so I keep uh, switching between these two batteries that are like equally uncharged I don't even know where I was in that conversation but really I just like have been trying to put myself and my needs first before others but going back to what I was saying before you know I have so much anxiety when it comes to my job I always have it doesn't matter what my job is I just have anxiety about it whether I'm gonna mess something up or whatever. So first of all, if you have a job that's making you physically ill, it may not be the job for you. I don't feel that way about the job I have currently, but one of my past jobs literally made me physically ill. I lost like 15 pounds. I was not okay. It made me physically sick and I like had to leave. I've told that story on Instagram lives and on the podcast, so you can go listen there if you don't know what I'm talking about, but basically I've had jobs in the past that were so detrimental to my physical and mental health. Like I had to leave. And if that's the way your job is making you feel like, trust me, it's not the job for you. And I know it's easier said than done because you can't necessarily just up and leave a job. I was lucky. I was in the position I was. It was an internship more so. I was getting paid, but truly YouTube was my primary income at that time either way. But have a job or, you know, school or whatever you're doing. Make sure that it is helping you and not hurting you. I know, again, that's easier said than done, especially when it comes to school, whether you're in college or high school or trade school or law school or med school or whatever schooling you're in, like you can't necessarily quit just because it makes you sick, like mentally sick, find some sort of healthy coping mechanism, whatever that may be for you. And then truly what I was trying to get at before was for me, having a routine really, really helps my anxiety. Like if I know I can come home from work, eat dinner, clean up, do a little YouTube stuff, work out, shower, and go to bed, I feel so much better. But when that is thrown off, whether I have a plan that night or I'm so tired, like tonight I can't work out, like I will have more anxiety because I wasn't able to do that. So it has two different components to it. On one hand, it's like it's not healthy to be in such a routine that when you don't do the full routine, you're like ill. That's definitely not good. But on the other hand, it is good to have like a healthy routine at least. But is it healthy to like need to work out every single day? In my opinion, no. You got to find a balance. But another thing I do is like I don't go out on weeknights. Maybe, maybe I would like have Chelsea come over I would go to Chelsea's because we live like literally two seconds away from each other or someone would come by my house but I don't go out on weeknights like I don't go out to dinner I don't go to other people's houses really Chelsea doesn't count because she lives like down the road I don't do those things because I know it will give me anxiety if it's 10 o'clock or even 9 30 and I'm at someone else's house and I'm like oh my god I have to go home and shower and pick up my outfit and go to bed and like if I'm drinking oh my god I'm gonna be hung over I'm not gonna feel good in the morning so all of those things kind of play into my anxiety and the things that I do to negate that is like listen to my mind body and soul so even though I will feel bad for not hanging out with someone if they want to hang out like that's just the kind of person I am so that was a long-winded conversation, but I feel like I talk about having anxiety all the time and then I never like say anything else about it. Like that's all I have to say. But yeah, that's my little chat of the night. I hope you guys enjoyed my little, my TED talk. Let me know if you want me to do more TED talks. I feel like these vlogs are honestly better sometimes than my weekly vlogs where I'm kind of doing the exact same thing every day and I don't talk about anything. So I don't know. If you guys prefer vlogs like this, let me know. Because although I didn't show you much of my day because I'm at work nine of those hours, I still feel like you got some stuff out of it. But it's almost 10 o'clock. I'm going to finish gua sha my face. I love doing this. It like drains all the fluid and I feel like with all the soy sauce I had, I'm going to be a little puffy. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't. And I'll see you again next time.